Oh, hey, Mona, <laughs> welcome to the video. This is our first ever Q&A since we've, uh, you know, been working together in each other's lives. Yes. First time we've ever done this kind of yes. thing. We're gonna start off with a little shot, you know, just to get uh, the, the, any nerves out of the way, because we're gonna answer all the juicy questions you guys have. You ready? Yep. Don't break your nails, all right. Cheers. Cheers. I don't need no chaser. I do. Ooh. Ooh. I have a twist to this cue now, you ready? <laughs> We're doing a second shot. <laughs> it's two o'clock. Yeah, I'm not gonna work out today. No? Nah, I'll just do a double tomorrow. What's that saying? It's like, why do today what you can put off to tomorrow? That's not fair. That was like Sacri Sac 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 Socrates. So What's his name? Sacriates. Who's that? Socrates. Sacri. I don't know. It's called procrastination. Oh. That was a big one. Mm. Ugh. Ooh, that was gross. Ugh. <sighs> so the way it's gonna work is, I have a bunch of questions that people ask me. You have a bunch of questions that people ask you. I don't know what questions Mona has about like me answering and vice versa. But uh, let's just do it. Let's do this. You wanna go first or me? Uh, you can go first. Okay, all right, first question. What is Mona's official job title with you, COO? This is actually good, because I, I, I don't even really what know this. What even is a COO? Chief Operating Officer. I don't know what that is. See, the thing is, when it, with the whole like COOs and CEOs, <laughs> unless you have a board of directors, I'm pretty certain you can't, there's not really like a CEO, you're just like the owner. So Mona's job title is like, what, what do you tell people when, when... I tell people it depends on the day. Like, what do you do yes, we got Mona. I said, it depends on the day. Every time someone asks me what, what I is do your, What do you tell your mom? Like, what do you, like... I literally tell them how it depends on the day. That's not a job title, though. What do you tell her the job title is? I don't. Mona, what do you do for work? It depends on the day, because it does. Hmm. What, okay, so what's my job title? I don't know, to be honest. <laughs> I don't know. I, I would say Mona's job title is... Like, I don't know, yeah, I don't know. It's just like, it literally depends on the day. Like, today we were shooting content for Sour Strips. Yesterday I was, you know, getting our samples organized forever forward. Mona's kind of more, she's definitely like just my right hand in everything that I do. Um, but it's not like a, she has a job role where she's just like, oh, I have too much. Like, you need to hire someone. She's very much like, I think, in with same with me, yeah, of like, I don't like, want to give up a lot of things. Yeah. So, because it's just like, if what if they don't do it right? Or what if they don't care enough? Because like, no one's going to care as much as we do for whatever. That's right. Whatever the situation, whatever the job is. Like, I just, it's just hard for me to like let things like that. So her role is everything. She's chief everything officer, CEO. Oh, look at that. <laughs> All right, I, I, I ask question. Okay, okay, okay. This one's like not about work. If we are both to swap bodies for a day, how would you spend that day non-work? <laughs> Basically, if I was just with a girl, th this is this is gonna be these are gonna be really inappropriate. If I was a girl for a day, <laughs> I mean my my boys know my boys know what are we gonna do? You know, you know. I, it's like, how did you say that? What, what like, would I do? It's like at the end of like you know the Freaky Friday, Chris Brown. Yeah, that's exactly what I would do. Holy shit, I have a vagina. I'm gonna understand the inner workings of a woman. That's what I would do. <laughs> What would you do with a wiener? <laughs> Stick it in something. <laughs> like what? No, like, a, like a bag of jelly yeah, or something? I said, if, I were, if I were to physically ch trade spots with you, I think I would deadlift. Oh, like that? Oh, like me? I thought it was just like a woman. No. You, you, you know what I would do? I, I would be so infatuated <laughs> with what Mona does outside of work. Because <laughs> when she leaves, okay, or on the weekend, she doesn't post in her stories. She doesn't, I don't, I don't like text or anything. I don't know what this girl does in her like alone time. Literally, I just, I am in bed and I watch Netflix and I order food. If people just, don't post stories, I'm like, they must be dead. I just love that, that alone time, that downtime. I just, that's where I, I thrive. I just love that. Okay. What was your first thought about me telling you that I wanted to start selling candy? I wasn't surprised. It was, it's always been something that you, you've talked about, like literally since day one. So it was, it was never, there was never a doubt in my mind that you weren't going to do this. So it's just- I kind of just like, I think Mona's getting used to just my uh, random ass, like, here's what I want to do today. Let's do it. How did, how did the, how did the New York pop-up happen? 
<laughs> Same. How everything else happens, might want to do this. All right, let's do I it. I walked in the office and I was like, I think I want to do a pop up in New York. And she's like, like, let's do it. Okay. Let's, let's do it. <laughs> so that's how her like job roles changed. She's like doing like customer search. Like, all right, let me look at areas in New York real fast. Yeah, so like, that's literally every every single thing is just either a text or you walk in the office and you're like, I want to do this, Mona. I'm like, mm. yeah. I just again back to her role thing. It's like I just. M Mona, like I just look to you and to, I look to Mona as the person who like I trust in her to get things done on like a big picture that I want to create yeah. that like I know that she's going to help me get there and uh, yeah, it's just been, it's been yeah. Yeah, really good. Okay. Um, after four years, what helps us work together so well? I think, I, I think it's because we, I think it's because you started with me at such like an early phase in what I was doing. Like I'd already had been running Ever Ford for a while, but it was it didn't really pick up enough and it was kind of like i was on the the rise but then when mona kind of came into my life uh where we kind of came into each other's life it's like then everything started picking up a lot more and i feel like you were almost there and like the the groundwork and the foundation mm -hmm. that it, it just helped us it wasn't like you tried to jump in and right. understand me it's like you I learned everything as as we were going so it kind of it's kind of like we grew together yeah so. it's it just 100 percent we we've we've like a lot of obstacles that we've had to overcome a lot of just the the transitions and growing in the businesses and then starting everything from the ground up, yeah like and exactly. just like she was like my, my first ever employee so it was like a, well just, kevin was kind of your employee i did have someone else like, like uh, he originally started helping me but yeah. then when i moved to texas it really became kind of real but speaking of that is like what were your plans for life before you met me or like before yeah before before that, that one day that i was like hey you want to help like pack some orders yeah um, I, that's the one thing It's just when I moved to Virginia, I was in a, in a place in life where I was trying to find myself. I didn't know cause I moved from, from Arizona to Virginia. So I had no idea like what I was doing. I had just went through a breakup and I was just, I just wanted to get away from Arizona where I, where I was comfortable and I just needed to leave. So I didn't know what I wanted to do. I was just working in a corporate job. Was it corporate? You said you worked at a, a, it was like a, dental a dentist. Office. Yeah. Like so it was worth admin, dinner. right? Yeah. I was doing like, I was doing finances at, um, an orthodontist office and it, it was fun at the time, but I was in the position where it wasn't, I just, I wasn't happy there. And then Max was just like, Hey, well, I'm going to put like, I need help. And I'm like, all right. She was like packing clothing orders. <laughs> Let's Hell do it. yeah. That sounds great. <laughs> Working in the same office, is it suffocating? And do we, are there days that we don't see eye to eye? I I really like working, yeah. like side by side with you. Mm -hmm. When 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 we when blah, when we got this space or even the last one, I've always given Mona the opportunity to have her own office. I've, I've always been like, yeah. do you want your own office? Do you want that? Um, because I don't personally care about myself. Like, I think a lot of people when they get into like job roles or whatever, they want to have their own space, right? And maybe as the owner, you want to have this big corporate office. But I'm like, I don't care. I just need a place to get my work done, and I just want to have space, right? Um, but the thing is with me and Mona is that we're so on the same level with everything in business and she like she is a part of like everything that I do that it's very important for us to be in this same talk room about everything that comes up like it's just if I was in a separate office he'd we'd be in the in yeah. each other's office anyways because I'm already like up and talking with all the other employees yeah. as well but like it's just yeah I think we work better being in the same yeah. area because I could we there's like literally so many times a day where I'm like hey and you're like hey I, so. yeah I mean I'd say like if we're if we're both doing office work I would say every 20 30 minutes we're having a conversation mm -hmm. and it just goes off into like random ass stuff so no i've never felt suffocated or anything no. and right. mona's not like a yes man type of person like if i especially with the clothing or just any design stuff i ask for her opinion and i <laughs> she a lot of times will say like no i hate this no i don't like this color like no don't do that yes. and i'm like oh really and she'll like push back on it which i love like yeah. i think it's very important to have people like really everyone should be like that like like if they like it, they like it. But if they don't, they should say yeah, something. And, and so I don't, yeah, we really don't have disagreements because we are very, very. I like, I love that we're so respectful with each other's opinions and we value each other's opinions so much that yeah. we don't, we never like bump heads. All right, what is one thing that you hate doing at work? Like what is like what is like one task that you do that you like dislike doing? What about what about like this? You don't like doing the social media stuff. Oh yeah, that's one thing. I, I don't like social media. Mona's also the social social media manager for Everport Apparel <laughs> and the <laughs> and the customer source customer service. I mean, it's just like I don't like not that I don't like social media. It's just like it's not 
I don't even keep up with my own social media. Yeah. So to like try to like do the things to grow a brand social media, like that's the one thing that like I'm just like. Oh. And that's what like uh, what I try to do with Mona is I I like to put I like to put a lot of things onto people as much as they can handle. And Mona, I kind of hold to an even higher regard of like, okay, your your brain needs to be all over the place because we're in multiple companies mm -hmm. and my own personal kind of life. But if there's ever something that she doesn't want to do, I try to make sure I can take that off of her plate. So that's one thing that I'm very actively trying to um, is find someone to take the social media side of ever forward because I don't want to let that slip and I don't want to like I don't, I'm not going to be like Mona you need to be posting this because when she has a lot to do it's if anything ever slips I never ever will kind of like be like why aren't you doing this unless like a, a huge right. bigger bigger picture thing but a lot of the times it's more of like okay then I need to delegate this out because you have a lot of important things you're doing yeah. as we're growing like I definitely like there's just like so much potential in ever forward and I just and that's kind of like, I feel sometimes like guilty because I'm just like, that's where we started. You yeah. know, like that's where, like what brought us here. This and damn candy is just taking over our life. Yes, but it's also, it's just like, there's so much potential there, but it's just like, I if I put our attention, if our attention goes one way, like something's gonna lap regardless. And it's just, that's just like. All right, okay. you're up. How did we meet Max? I feel like we've talked about this. I don't think we, well, okay. We met because Mona was a, you were a bang girl. I was a bang girl. You're, you're a v, VPX. VPX, so, yeah. VPX. I, so like I said, I moved from Arizona to Virginia and I was with VPX, bang, whatever. And one of our like requirements was to like distribute at different gyms. So I looked up gyms in the area and District Barbell came up. So you just showed up at the gym? I No, I DM'd District Barbell. Okay. So, with, I don't know if it was Peter, or it was District and I think Peter. So she came to give drinks. Yeah, I came to give like samples, whatever it was. And then me and Peter just really got along. Like Peter to this day is like my best friend. We, You know, so he invited me over to the gym. I was like, hey, yeah, come work out, blah, blah. And then that's when he kind of like, He's like, yeah, Max owns this gym too. I was like, fuck's Max. Well, here, here's where I'll step in is because, so we had the back office and I never <laughs> okay. I never wanted people back in that back office because I was like, this is for the people who own the space or our close friends. I don't want random ass people back here. And then this Mona's ass, ass girl. comes in, but you know, I was like, okay, fine. Like, who's this? And and the thing that I was very welcoming because of you had- the, I had free RTD. It was free, ready to drink <laughs> proteins. And she would just keep bringing them. And I was like, hey, you're cool. And then that was where she just kept sh being at the gym, bringing the, the drinks for the first like couple, maybe weeks, like maybe two weeks. Yeah. She would come maybe like once a week or something, became friends with Peter. And then she was just kind of there and started <laughs> working out. And that was the point where I was, I, she, I, I don't know how we got our conversation. I don't know, of, I think it was just kind of like. I knew you just left your job. Yeah, and then I don't know. We would, well, whenever we would all have launches, whether it was Ape or Everport, we would all help. Like, it was always yeah. like a big, like, it was like a fun thing. Like, yeah. We would like, like order pizza, like, you know, pack orders. And then I, I don't know how it got to the point where you, you were like, Hey, I, like I need help. Like, well, I think it was just on the day to day. I didn't want to do the consistent daily orders. <laughs> and I was, just, I just asked her, I was like, Hey, if you want to make some extra money, like some super part-time hours, like, here you go. Yeah. That's, and that's that's really how it like yeah, started because we were all it was just for like the longest time it was just like all of us hanging out together as like a friend group and then she was just kind of there i was definitely just there my question have you and mona ever dated wait <laughs> before we say this mona did you know that this video is sponsored by movement did you know for Valentine's Day coming up that they had so many options? Look how smart I look in these movement blue light blocking glasses. Hide ever scroll. Mona, I'm so, ask me any multiplication multiplication question in any of a, a big one. Go ahead. 12 times 32. 642. 642. <laughs> Is that really? Yeah, give me another one. Give me another one. Give me another one. Okay. Harder one. Um, 24 times 36. Uh, 3,000. 212. What? Yeah. Wait, no, on. you don't need to look it up. <laughs> Mona, did you know that for Valentine's Day, they have so many options for guys and girls? Not only these glasses, look, they have watches for, for girls. Here you go, Mona. Here's a nice movement watch. You can get a freaking discount and free shipping if you use my code MAX at checkout. It's first link in the description. It's a nice watch, right? You know, I don't wear watches because the clock's always on my phone. Yeah, the clock, it's not about the telling the time, Mona. It's about fashion. Fashion. 
Okay, well, if you guys want to check anything for moving for Valentine's Day, if you have a loved one, super, super affordable stuff for guys and girls. Real cute. Super cute. They have jewelry, too. Glasses, jewelry, every, they have tons of stuff. Mm -hmm. You can get a discount. First link in the description. Okay? Right. Have you and Mona ever dated? Now, before you answer this, this might be the most asked question of our lives. I would say 70% of the freaking questions I got. Oh, yeah. Have you ever hooked up? Have you ever dated? Like Every single one. Every day. At, like literally every time. When are you gonna come up with Max? When are you gonna guys gonna come out? They go, oh, I'm just like, I get all the time of like you got you just don't you don't realize what you have in front of <laughs> Mona, answer the question. Have we ever dated? No! Have we ever never, hooked up? Never, never in our like never. And I think it like gets to a point where it's just like until like you meet us in, in real life, then you can confidently say that is not it's it, it's I, I don't know, I it's just one of the interesting things that Mona and I have, there is zero, zero. romantic, any, there, the, even when we started, yeah, it, was, it just, was just straight into like, okay, work, you're a like, friendship and then yeah. a work and then yeah. it just stayed like that. Yeah. And it's very important for it to stay like that. <laughs> and here's the biggest thing, guys. Mona, am I your type at all? <laughs> do you wanna, <laughs> here's the thing. Do you wanna know what Mona's type is? No. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna break it. I'm gonna break down Mona's type because you're gonna be like, oh, Max, you're definitely not that. Okay, Mona's Mona's type, and I know this because I I see the guys she dates periodically. Okay, you gotta be tall. Okay, <laughs> she she likes a little uh a little like what they look like darker complexion, right? Light skin. Uh, uh, she wants you to have tattoos, a whole bunch of tattoos. <laughs> whole bunch of tattoos and she would prefer you 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 use a little things to make your muscles a little bit bigger. <laughs> she likes tall, juicy, tatted up men. Am I right? He's not wrong. That's that's what you like. And I am I am a skinny little white boy. <laughs> that's Mona's type. It ain't me. And we have just kept it 100% professional. There has never been any anything. Never. And it's just, it's always, it's it's so funny because just like I see the Max, like I see like the girls at Max like has dated in the past, like brings around and vice versa. And it's just like, it's just so funny to see. But it is like annoying. Like, you know, it's just like. I it is. Like it's very annoying because like now that Max is in a relationship. Like, if, if anything, it's unprofessional if y'all are asking these questions. Yeah, it's just like Max is in a relationship. Like respect, respect that. Like, you yeah. know, and it was like also like vice versa. Like when I was in a relationship, it was just like risk, like risk. It's just I like, think people can't wrap their heads around that we just work so close on a day to day and there's no physical connection. Yeah, and that's and why. It, it, it's just like, we, we, I don't think it's ever, yeah, it's just, it is what it is. Yeah, and that's, that's why keep I also, it professional. like I love that the relationship you're in, it's just, she very much understands that. Well, hey, hey well, I'll just okay. I'll compound this off. Okay. Thoughts on Max's dating and his current relationship. Okay, <laughs> Max's dating in the past? It's great to watch. It great. <laughs> <laughs> Mona's never seen me with a girlfriend. I've never seen him with a girlfriend. I, you know, like I've seen, him date and it, it's great like it, it's you've seen fun. A, you've seen a lot of girls come into my life yes and, and then they very quickly leave, leave. <laughs> and that was they're fun. like was it okay get the fuck out of here yeah yeah and it was fun because it's just like honestly it's like new like acquaintances that i get every so often but and me and Mona like I we talk about it a lot like yeah. we talk about like if if i'm interested in someone yeah like so i definitely know and but like this one i i'm so happy like Cause just well, how was like two months ago we were in the car talking about like a re like a relationship and you get into a relationship and it's just like their relationship gives gives me hope like you yeah, know like oh my god thought, like, because Max is not in a, like he was not looking for a relationship mm. and he was so anti like no I don't want a girlfriend and then this this girl came into his life and he he's glowing like everything that he like he's glowing and it it, it shows in all of that, all aspects that he's and everything he's doing and I love it. And I love that she is so comfortable with herself and their relationship that he knows, she knows that like there's nothing yeah. going on here and like, you know. That would be like a big, almost like a deal breaker, like especially having someone who's like my right hand being yeah. a, a woman, woman, right. girl, female, yeah. um, that if, if I got in a relationship and someone was like very insecure right, about right. me either, 
because I feel like even now when I when I'll, t- I'll mention you a lot, but I, and, but I don't think she gets annoyed at all. But Not it's at all. more like it's it's work. She's like my right, right, like you're, right. And she, like yeah. it takes the the right woman to be confident in herself and the relationship. And you guys know. are good friends. Exactly. And then like you know, because like even in in my dating life, like always the question is just like, has anything happened with you and Max? And I'm just like. Like, uh, you know, and then it's Do the guys ask that that you're dating? Yes. And, and they're probably like, you're lying. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's just like, you're lying. Like, you're with him all the time. And it's just like, so that's also just like, like if you're, if a man is not confident enough to know that like, this is like, this is my life. And this is what I do every day. This is like who I'm literally with every single day. Like more than I'm probably with like yeah. a man in my life. Then yeah, it's just, it's, it takes the right person so i'm very very happy that he found someone or someone came in his life that can understand what he does and is comfortable and like you know cares for him enough to be accepting of everything that comes with him we love that we love it we love her so in conclusion not dating (laughs) not Uh, dating I love her. Really love, likes love really her. likes the new yeah, boo thing. Her. Um, okay, what are you most excited for in 2022? Hmm. Deadless for dude. Oh yeah. Yeah. I gotta get on that. Yeah, and that's <laughs> Mona's the, the chief uh, event organizer as well. Ooh. If you guys didn't know. But I'm yeah, so all excited. the events, Mona puts them on. I, I guess the, the best way to describe Mona and mine's like job roles is I ha- I'm like the, here's the big vision, big picture I want to get done, and Mona figures out how to execute that. And even if she doesn't know it, or she's never done it before, she'll find a way to get it done, and she's very organized. And that's like, the biggest key thing that I've learned from just you being like a, into like my work life is keeping me organized, because I'm not organized. <laughs> and I think if you have someone that's your right hand that helps you stay organized and like, yeah, it, 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 it's, and a lot of times too, is I, te- I text Mona, I, so I have it set on my phone. She turned it off, but I have it set for Mona that when my phone's on silent, which is 90, 90% of the day, um, if Mona texts me, it still makes a sound because I'm like, if Mona texts me, it's something that like I need to be alert for because everyone else can just vibrate. But Mona turned it off on mine. So if I go to text Mona, I guess I, <laughs> I expect, <laughs> not like I expect, don't take it the wrong way, but like when I text Mona, it's usually a question and if she doesn't respond in the first like 30 but seconds, I usually do. I'm just like, Mona, Mona, <laughs> Mona. Because she has, she's, she's, she's the type of ass that has red receipts on. Well, <laughs> Hate yeah. that. Well, but, then it's good for so, you. But I'll text her and I'll just stare at my phone like this. <laughs> and if it doesn't say red within like 30 seconds, I'm like, I just send a bunch of exclamation points. like <laughs> And capitalize. I'm like, I was in the shower. Yeah. <laughs> but because you need to turn the thing on. Okay. Uh, I think this is a good one to wrap, to wrap okay. this up. Uh, where do you see the futures, like five to 10 years working together and friendships? What, okay. what do you? Like, as a right, like I cannot see myself, you know, without Max. Like what I, I love what I do and every, you know, like there's, we're just in the beginning of, especially sour ships. Like there's so much more room to grow and so much plans that we kind of like have discussed. And so the next five years, I still see us like doing what we're doing and just like on a bigger scale. And I think we'll learn to get more employees and more more help just for us to grow all together. Um, as far as friendship, like he's gonna be in my life probably for the rest of my life. Yeah. I don't see that ever, Damn ever, straight. ever going anywhere. Like he's changed my life for the better. And yeah, he's, you're always gonna be in my motherfucking life. Yeah, and I, I think as she came, you came into like this world with, uh, in this world, you came into like my world helping with Everford and then that started Sour Strips and then it just started like a lot of things because everything keeps growing. And I think whether it be down the road between Everford and Sour Strips or just my personal life, I think that like someone like Mona is something that you want to have for like the long haul. So whatever business ventures that I do, I, I'll be right there. I, yeah, Mona's going to be the one that's going to be assisting me on all those ventures. Mm-hmm. I told her I want to open a, a Mexican restaurant, a Tex-Mex rest- and like, restaurant. And then like the, the worst part? I said part, it the other day. Like the worst part is this I already bought the happen. domain name. Exactly. I already bought the domain name. Like that's the worst part. Like I'm already thinking like, all right, shit. So we got to think of a venue. Like we got to think like, and that's just, that's, that's the thing. And she's like, you think of these things and I'm just like, okay, well, like these are the things that we need to do to like make it happen. So like the thing is like, there's going to be a Tex-Mex restaurant. There's going to be a Tex-Mex like, it's, restaurant. It's not even, Believe that. No question. Like it's, it's going to happen. It's just like, all right, we got to figure out 
what we are doing now and then yeah. how can we add in the Tex-Mex restaurant? So I think like, yeah, in conclusion, I think like moving to Texas was a great, the best. That, that was another question I had, look at like, this super last one, <laughs> is someone asked like, what, what was your thoughts on like, I guess betting on, I don't, people said, they said me, but like, uh, like, Right, that's like your, your, your ability yeah. to like just be like I'm gonna get up and move and put trust because at the time, which I you know I've never told that is like I even told you then is um, he like, literally I, told me like it was not for sure like what was gonna happen. Yeah, because I knew I could hire someone when I got there, and Mona was just kind of starting, and I even told her I was like I it's like I can't pay you a lot of money. Mm-hmm. I like it, the businesses weren't like really booming, and I was like I can only pay you like a like a lower entry level kind of salary and like it's just if you like i'm gonna need to fill this role if you want to make that Mm. jump with me that's amazing and i would love that if not like i'll find i'll find myself a new mona kind of thing but like you know there's only one literally that's what he said it was just like but it's more like i didn't want to i didn't try to like pressure you to come with me the option yeah and honestly like like i said like i like from the beginning like i kind of knew how max operated like and as soon as like I saw his heart as a person that's how I knew I was just like okay like I I would have no regrets like working with this working with him and helping him and I was like again I was in a position where I was just like what do I have to lose like you know like he's he knows what he's doing he knows what he wants and I know that I can make things happen and I know that I could help in the ways to make things happen so you know like there's no there's no reason for us to fail if we both have like the same like we can't fail Mona yay woo and how do you like it here in Texas? It's, I love it. Like, I was worried because Mona's kind of like a doesn't like anyone type of person. No, she likes ev- okay, she likes everyone. But like you- Very, very particular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like with who but I- when, she, when she first moved here, she moved into an apartment like 25 minutes away <laughs> because she just wanted to be in her own little world. I was like, okay, that's kind of weird. Like you're gonna have to be at the office every day, but you know, or whatever. I was like, well, why do you want to move so far away? But then it turns out, then she started moving closer. And then, and then within two months of living here at most, she became like best friends with Heidi and it's just like the circle of friends that I have, all the girls is now all of her best friends and it's, it, it just- Like literally like even like, our, so our work relationship like goes into our, like a personal life. Like, and that's yeah. kind of like what, I think that's, I think that's where people like kind of like get yeah, the misconception. Because a lot of like, I think a lot of people think that it, it is understandable that you'd want to keep like work, work life and separate and you know, employees and stuff, but it just, I think with Mona and myself, it just works. Yeah. Like it, it's a unique situation where we can be very, like we're on the same path but work-wise. Then we're taking shots together on the weekends. And then it's just mm-hmm. like, but that's kind of like where that mutual respect goes yeah. as far as like work and personal life. It's just like, we know, we, we're so close in work life and so close in personal life. We just kind of know like the balance. It's an unwritten book yeah. that we have mastered. We mastered it. Go us. Yay. Boom. Uh, so that's gonna be this is a thirty minute video. That was right? a solid. Q&A. I mean, I can trim this down that a little was bit. A solid. Q&A. Shit. Uh, all right. Well, that will be the end of it. And we're not dating. We're <laughs> we're not dating. Hey, you know what's crazy? <gasps> you think you're in a relationship? No. I'm not. I don't know if anyone's gonna stick around for this, but I think <laughs> in the next video you're I'm, gonna introduce her. Yeah. <gasps> You guys are gonna love her, be nice. Like, it's, it's, you're gonna love her. She's beautiful, she's gorgeous, she has her own life going. She Man. makes Max happy. Like, there's what? no reason not to love her. That's gonna be wild. And I think I'm gonna, you know, this Ooh. video, and then, and then I think I might introduce her in the next one. You should. It's Shit. About that time. I mean, people know. It doesn't. I know they know, but they want me to, you know? It doesn't take rock and science to find out. <sighs> okay, well. <sighs> That'll be the video. Moving glasses. So, so, do you know my videos enough to know my outro? Something about like, no, no, no. thanks for tuning in. Say the whole thing. That's all I know. Thanks for tuning thanks in. Thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one. No. Oh, sh- Eat more sour strips. Eat more sour strips. And. See you in the next one. And ever forward. And ever forward. And then I, I usually like to throw like a, like, a, like a wolf. That was a good one. That was good. Yeah, I think people are gonna like this. I'm better. They've been asking questions for years. <laughs> oh, we gotta get a thumbnail. Wait, turn a little. Yeah, turn a little. Oh, I'm getting a little close there. Right. Yeah. Wait, scoot over a little bit. Oh. It's not gonna come well, in. Well, I know, but we gotta make it in the center, damn okay, it. Okay, well, like, there. Okay, all right, 
Okay. Yeah. yeah. Saw a video. Another banger down. Banger, you just met her. <laughs>